This video is brought to you by CoolStuffInc.com. So if you're looking to pick up magic singles, seal product, or other hobby supplies, use the link in the description below and the code Kenobi at checkout to get 5% off your order and help support the channel. Hello and welcome to a rather short and sweet, I say short, I have no fucking idea how long this video is going to be, but a rather off-the-cuff Warhammer Wednesday. I've been pretty bad at keeping up with Warhammer Wednesday lately because I've been so busy either prepping to play at Warhammer tournaments or making the other content on this channel. So today's video is a little bit of a ramble, a little bit of almost like a posthumous vlog. Although I didn't really take any footage or many photos of the event, I went to a tournament on the weekend. I went to Beachhead down in Bournemouth, um, and I won, well, I came fourth place. I got best Imperial outside of the top three. Third place was also Custodes, but I got, I got fourth place, six points behind third as well. As you can see, we had uh, two Tau players, 7-0 in first and second, and I went 6-1, and one, putting me in fourth place. I was exactly six points behind the next Custodes player, who had a quite a different list to me, actually. So, I was playing the new Custodes book. We're three weeks out from it being released. It did pretty well at LVO with, I think, one of the highest conversion rates to the upper brackets. By that, I'm using terms that Warhammer players don't tend to use. It's more of a magic thing, right? I think there's quite a lot of players showed up. But quite a lot of them still went X and 1 or X and 2, for example. Normally talk about how many decks can convert to day 2 of a GP in Magic. The book is really good. Now, the funny thing about the Warhammer community is that, on the whole, and my Discord is also responsible for this, or, or a culprit of this, is they fucking moaned. Old things went away. Swoop and die, for example. And primarily, the three up Invan on the shield boys of the Custodes all went away, and people complained, bitched, and moaned. Now, if anything... In my time as a Sisters of Battle player and spending time on their Discord and their communities has taught me, people will fucking moan about everything and they'll never take it onto themselves to figure out what's good or new or uh, just adapt and grow. The funny thing about the Custodes Codex is though that you don't need to do much adaptation. All the character sheets and data sheets are fucking nuts. Even like Valerian seeing no play I think is a really solid character but he's just worse than like three or four of your other options. My list was really simple. I'll put a paste bin in the description below as well. I was playing, playing Trajan Baloris. I was playing a Terminator Captain with Praetorium Plate, Unstoppable Destroyer and Pregnable Mind. So it was four bodies of opposite that teleported across the map and flipped objects during combat. I had the bike captain with tip of the spear to reroll hit rolls and rerolls of one and he also had minus one to hit him. Oh and the terminator captain had a five up feel no pain as well. Three by three salvo bikes, one squad of normal custodians with two shields in there, five sagittarium, five prosecutors, three alaris terminators with axes and a blob and two singular alaris terminators with spears. And if I'm remembering everything correctly that's my army. Small model count, easy to carry, easy to move around, it felt like a dream compared to playing 70 plus models in Sisters of Battle at events that I've played recently because it's just less intense to move that amount of shit around. Part of me really wants to play orcs at some future events, even just like a really fluffy but well-painted orc list that I'm working on, but I'm actually scared to roll even more than 40 or 50 boys, upwards to 70, 80 or 90 boys across commandos and strong boys, I think would be very tiring. Anyway, back to the custodies and less about orcs. Uh, yeah, the book doesn't need you to adapt that much. All of the data sheets are probably just, they're at least, so, not all. The majority of data sheets are solid. The uh, majority of things are under cost. So the bikes went down, Trejan went down. I don't know if the bikes can go up because they're so fucking expensive at 255 or 260 each for the squad now. But like Trejan going down is insane. Like if you're not playing Trejan, you're mad. You're insane. On top of that, I started with 10 CP because Trajan gives you one back as well. And then I got to re-roll um, a dice or raw dice for every CP spent. Get one back on a 5-up. So you start the game with a virtual, like, somewhere between 12 and 15 CP, depending on how hot you are to roll. I guess 11 and 15, depending on how hot you are to roll. And all the strats are cheap too. Transhumans, 1 CP. Turn off all the enemies' re-rolls into any unit in your army. Well, no vehicles, but I'm not playing any. But into your bikes, for example. This means you can put 3 bikes, T6, 4 up in VUN, 14 inch move with Dark Lancers strapped them, and they fucking combat. And then when someone shoots at them, you can transhuman them to stop them being wounded on anything but a 4, and turn off all hit rolls, wound rolls, and damage rolls. All for 2 CP, and you also have a chance per one of those on a 5 up to get the point back. You can see why that combo is probably a bit too good. That said, I haven't looked directly at Ben's list, but I saw him playing on similar tables to me all around the event. The gentleman who came ahead of me in third place with six more total uh, victory points across the weekend. Uh, he's playing two Talamons. At the beginning of the weekend, I joked to him, you're playing at a disadvantage. 
and he placed higher than me with the two Telemons. Uh, looks like Telemons are still reasonable. Telemons are still pretty good at just wandering around the map and being independent of Trajan now. They used to babysit him, or Trajan used to babysit them to give them re-rolls. They're now an independent operator, just sling them up in a corner or in the mid-board and let them just fuck about. Telemons are still decent. Hell, if the bugs go up in price or they really fuck them on the stratagems, there might be a chance that if I keep playing Custodes at events, I might drop some bikes to play a Telemon. The first round of the tournament I played into T-Suns, I'm not going through every round, but something I wanted to observe was that when the opponent gives you one obvious 15, in this case a Bore the Witch, and actually no prisoners in this circumstance, but a Bore the Witch, bring it down as I had into Crusher Stampede and stuff, Custodes will just rack up the points. I fumbled my first round, made some mistakes, and still scored 100. 15 on Stranglehold, uh, 15 on a Bore the Witch, and 15 on no prisoners in this circumstance, and it's a 5 uh, mission objective. I even lost a little bit of primary at one point, but got it back on the second, or the tertiary, the progressive bit of the new mission. In short, the new custodians are really good at playing the new mission uh, because of the opposite bodies, the ability to score primaries so well, the ability to switch your opponent off of primaries and flip objectives really well. And the secondary uh, like progressive things that you get for the missions, some of them are bad for us, but if you have like singular Alaris that can scan objectives and stuff, it's actually pretty good. I think the book carried me. I think I'm getting better as a player, but I don't think I'm the best player, or even in the top like fucking percentile or whatever. I think I'm getting, I say maybe good, but this book absolutely carried me if i was playing sisters or similar army there's no doubt that i wouldn't have been at that slot in this uh listing right but that said there were a shit ton of custodies players there and i managed to score higher than all but one of them it looks like my only loss was into tau as well um there were some weird calls in that game that i told my opponent even after the game i wasn't happy about um a bit where he said he could see round obscuring and i wasn't sure but i'm not one to argue a bit where they wouldn't fire through dense they didn't even want dense on the board because it's player placed terrain um this is not me saying stuff after the fact i told them at the time i told them after the game wasn't happy with those things um, and the player based terrain fucked me too. I didn't know it was player placed terrain until the opening of the first game. And then against Tau, I wanted to be far back for some reason. And I just, I, I put my first piece down too far back. And it screwed me out of placing all my other bits for the fork. You had to be six inches away from each other. And I couldn't really do a take back see. Uh, a, I wouldn't expect my opponent to give me a take back see if they didn't want to. But secondly, like I said, my, my opponent for that round was um, probably the most belligerent of all my opponents. They were still pretty nice. But uh, they were really measuring out to make sure I had deployed my terrain properly. It was kind of eye-rolling, really. But into Tau, I deployed badly the terrain. I deployed badly. And then I waited a whole turn before I tried to overcommit and just forced the guns to fire into me. And I lost a few assets and it just went bad. I think I could have played the Tau matchup better, but I don't think we're necessarily still good into Tau. I think Tau seemed to be able to run away from combat way too easily with Warlord traits and minus fours on one side of the board and a minus two on the other to charges. I think that's something that needs to be addressed. So Custodies are probably too good. They're going to get some sort of nerf. I hope they don't overcorrect. I hope they do what they did to the Drakari, not to the Admech, honestly. Um, are they going to be equalized though? That's the other question, right? I don't think we actually have a good matchup in town. I think you can play into town if you're good. You don't fuck up like I did. But I'm wondering if the custodians will be made worse as Eldar come out on a good. Or for example, uh, a good Tyranid book or a good Imperial Guard book where you can't deal with both the heavy armor and the, the hordes at the same time. The great thing about the custodians book is that it's very flexible. Uh, playing Emperor's Chosen, the sub-faction that I played, for one CP you can put any unit in your army from the command phase to the next command phase into a different sub-faction. Which can allow you to... Uh, heroically intervene further. It can allow you to turn off uh, or lower the number of attacks incoming in melee. It can allow you to fall back and charge, plus one to charge, re-roll charges. There's so much for us to say. There's like 10 options in that one strat for one CP because there's, well, 10 traits across the rest of the book, like five other factions. But all that... Uh, flexibility can be stretched and the tension can be there if you're faced with multiple problems that don't all have the same solution. Into Crusher Stampede, I just put myself into Rendax, which gives you auto wounding on sixes across all phases and plus one strength in melee into monsters, and I just absolutely fucking tore them apart. Uh, except for some um, weird tech with the not the other Exocrine Shashi, the one with the, the, the horror specs. Those things were incredibly tanky and I couldn't kill them, just stuck my guys in combat. But the point I'm getting at is, when you can focus the army into one of its flexible things, like put the whole army in Rendax and just start hammering them, you're fine. And Dakatari is the one where you get more attacks to damage one. But if you can't do that, if you have to put like one squad in Dakatari, have the rest of the army in Rendax, get that squad into combat with the with the horde, fire into that. Do you know what I mean? It'll stretch your resources a bit thinner. That plus some point increases. And honestly, 
I think the strats could change in Custodes too. I don't want them to super nerf the strat, the army that I just did well with that I really enjoyed playing, but like being able to pay two CP to turn off all rerolls and transhuman your bikes is probably a bit much. Uh, they could up the cost of those strats in general. They could up the cost of those strats on bikes. How well they could even just take transhuman off the bikes, for example, in similar ways to what they nerfed the uh, last chickens in admin. I genuinely believe that Trajan Valoris is the best character in the game right now. He's a force multiplier that also absolutely fucks in melee and just takes a hit as well. Four pinned on five up pinned on pin. It's mad. Uh, the bikes are the best unit in the codex. If you're going to play an event this weekend or next, I would say you can't register less than six. I would honestly suggest you register nine. Three squads are three. You keep them at minimum three because it allows you to play your strats onto them, like I've been saying. It's the best way of winning any match, really. It's just to have one of the best data sheets in the game just flying around at 14 inches, firing 24, and fucking people in combat. They can fall back and shoot. They can fall back and charge. Both of those cost you one CP. Kind of mad, really. And the other unit that really overperformed for me was the Sagittarium. I took a blob of five with the intention of never paying one CP to put any of the um, varying scale strats onto them. But I was putting them into Rendax to pop uh, transports. I was putting them into Is It Salvos to get the extra four inches of martial guitar with them. They were just great. Like that. <laughs> Five of them, that's what, 15 shots of Heavy Bolter? Five shots of uh, Strength 5, AP 3, Flat 3 damage at close range? And if you give them the daggers, the little Misericordias, they can all get in there and fuck people up. I had a bit where I got to interrupt them to Incubi and just slaughter... No, 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 um, the Hoverboard, Drukari, and they got to interrupt and just slaughtered them. It's beautiful. So yeah, that's my rundown. I did pretty well. I came fourth. I had a lovely time. The beachhead, uh, uh, the brawl events that ran the beachhead brawl were great. The timings were a bit off. The room was a bit warm. And of course, no one's fucking wearing masks in the UK anymore. Well, that's just the UK in general. I'll happily go to another one of their events. I'll happily go to another big event like this. I've really enjoyed it. And all but a few problems. I think the opponent I had problems with was pretty reasonable. Apart from that, all of my opponents were lovely. Like, I, I can't get over how much of a fun tournament experience I had just chatting to people either side of me chatting to my opponent like coming to agreements about stuff it's I never thought Warhammer would feel like a more inviting competitive game than Magic ever did but it kind of does everyone's kind of just looking to have a good time and play with their expensive toy soldiers it's nice anyway that's been me talking about custodies if you want to talk any more about custodies i'll be talking about a shit ton on my discord the link to my patreon is down below i'm not offering coaching by the way that's not what i'm suggesting here because i'm not good enough and i also think most coaching programs are a scam but i'm saying if you want to come talk about one 40k the tabletop rooms in my discord are really active and we're running a 40k tournament a league at the moment with prizes on my discord two dollars a month patreon down below uh our list down below as well and i might answer some comments hope this was helpful hopefully this is insightful hope this was interesting Collect custodies. They're cheap to build compared to other armies. They're fun to paint. And they fucking slap. And they really make you feel like a god because they give you all the tools to solve the problems of Warhammer 40k. Anyway, I've been Vince. Hope you enjoyed this. I'm back with some more Warhammer content later in the week and some more magic. See you soon. Ta-ta for now.